this is Daniel from Daniel Dialotown again. Uh, I'm uh, just showing you a little bit of what I'm doing to the uh, KRK Rocket 6. It's the uh, uh, third generation model, which is currently the only uh, in, in the Rocket series. I'm only working on the Gen 3s. Um, the Gen 1s and the Gen 2s have reliability issues and um, and it's actually uh, you know they actually sell parts still for uh, for the for the gen 3 so uh, you know if I mod your speaker and if something goes out on it it's actually you know easy to source one of these boards or whatever so um, but yeah, I, I just wanted to say a few things about it. Uh, I would have to say, yeah, I've been doing quite a few uh, speakers over the past few years. Yeah, I've worked on the Yamaha, the you know the. HS series, both the like the the eights and the and the eighties, uh, Fostex, uh, uh, Genelec, uh, yeah, quite a few. Uh, but uh, I would have to say the most bang for your buck is definitely with this KRK Rocket series. Um, um, because of all the speakers I've been doing KRK's the longest and I kind of hope to make it you know my flagship service is working on this particular uh, this because you know this this board is really easy to work on um, <clears throat> it's actually much easier to work on than pretty much all the other speakers I've been doing um, and of course I'll I'll post a couple uh, videos to post up there to see what it looks more, you know, when it's done. Um, but yeah, uh, the uh, the of all the speakers that I do, like the the amount of improvement of before and after, it's definitely it's the greatest improvement is uh, on these uh, KRK speakers. You know the the Yamaha. There's a very uh, you know, obviously a, a, an awesome difference, and I would say the speaker that I noticed the least amount of difference. Which you know I did. So it's kind of funny that I actually did my first speaker video using the the event speakers because I I kind of think the. Uh, the difference of before and after, um, which that is usually kind of dictated by how well the actual speaker itself is. Like I'm not not the circuitry of the preamp or power amp, but the actual like the enclosure, the quality of the woofer, the quality of the of the tweeter. Um, you know, those are limiting factors, uh, which. Um, yeah, that's that's sort of what I use as a guide to uh, choosing which which is actually the best candidate uh, speaker to to uh, really push out there. You know, it's the one that you know that the difference is night and day, and definitely these KRK rockets, the most night and day uh, is pretty astounding. Um, and I wish I had it in mind to maybe record a little bit of audio um, on these uh, when they were stock, but uh, the customer that wants them needs them sooner than later, so I had to kind of jump on in here. But I do uh, just want to give some shout outs to you know all the customers that have been. Uh, it's been real supportive over the past few years. Uh, I've actually been sort of teetering on just 
getting a real job, you know, probably, I don't think, I don't know if it would be music gear related, um, because I don't think there's enough money to be made in it unless you're, you know, the CEO or something of, uh, some, you know, some ass clown pro audio company that makes that uses a uh, past reputation of, oh, we used to make great, great gear. Uh, people don't really know how much our gear sucks anymore because, you know, it's like, like a, you know how you boil a, a, a frog, you know, you, you put it in, in, uh, in cool water and then you, you know, you turn the burner up and doesn't realize it's getting cooked until it's too late. So it's sort of, uh, it's kind of what has happened with pro audio. Um, it it's audio quality has slowly gone down the the tube slowly but surely uh audio quality has been replaced by you know really cool looking digital features and uh and it's sort of one of the reasons why like i don't know if i really want to be in that market anymore that just focuses on that now you know any and, and <laughs> you know, sort of that sound discouraging, but I think the best music's already been recorded. Um, but not just, I mean, I, I, I've said, I say that all the time, but, you know, actually I do come across some bands that, that sound really, that do sound really good. So, but, uh, you know, I'm kind of, as you can imagine, you know, having given 10 years of your life to something and then, being spit out by it, you might feel just a little jaded. <laughs> and here we are a couple hours later. That is a colorful field of capacitors. And if you're wondering why uh, these little remnants of speaker wire are dangling, it's just uh, just so I can keep, this, keep it straight. I do have it written down, but it's just always nice to to know, um, you know, the, the color coding. So when I install the boutique uh, wire, I you know, I uh, remember which uh, terminal on the speaker that I go to. So this helps a little bit.